Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220 KHTS. Host Fred Arnold on the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. I'm joined by Scott, Scott Zimmerman, a friend of mine from Corporate Strategies. Um, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Fred. Scott, been an expert uh, in this field for uh, over two decades and knows insurance um, more than anybody else. And alf- also offers corporate strategies. Um, what are you going to do if um, something happens to one of your partners? How do you offer certain benefits to certain employees? And and so that's the one thing is you provide a lot of solutions to to um, those companies. But I want to talk about on the individual side because when it comes down to it, you're selling to an individual and the right. individual's need. Um, we're going to talk about life insurance, disability, and long-term care. Life insurance, there's so much out there. There's term, there's um, the way they call it, permanent and temporary. There's term, there's whole life, there's universal. It's so confusing. Uh, yeah, there, right. There's index universal, there's variable universal, there's, there's a ton. You're yeah. absolutely right. And what do you advise people when it comes to insurance? What's the first thing you look at? You know, what I, what I really look at is first people say, which type of insurance should I get? And the first thing I usually say is get the correct amount. Let's figure out what you need, and then we'll figure out what the right plan is and what's affordable, because not every plan is right for everybody. You know, we'll find somebody that just needs to get a $250,000, $300,000 policy because they just finally buy a house, they just got married, they just had their first baby, or whatever that amount is. If you're on a shoestring budget, then just get whatever you can get and then slowly start working into investing. Exactly. So in that situation... Term insurance would be perfect. Yeah. It's a perfect starter plan. And I will mention uh, that there are some great benefits, uh, I know personally, of tax deferring. Um, tax, being able to take tax deferred money when you're 60. Because think about this. When you get a pension, when you get a retirement, when you get your 401k, and you take that money, it's all taxable. They're going to charge you taxes. Exactly. And so, this is a vehicle that allows you to do that? Well, not term life insurance, but permanent life insurance. There's a lot of great plans out there where you can put the money away, The money grows tax deferred, it's safe, it's secure. You can get market-like returns in certain situations, plus you can get the money out tax-free. Yeah, I think it's the tax-free money is critical because eventually we'll have to pay back all this money we're borrowing. Exactly. (laughs) So one way or the other. (laughs) Disability insurance, one of those things that's overlooked because it can be expensive, um, but very, very important as part of your financial plan. Uh, You're right, disability insurance can be expensive, but the younger you get it, the less expensive it is. And not only that, the rates are locked in. So they're going to be guaranteed you know, up until age 65. But you're, yeah, you're always better to get it while you're healthy and young and lock in those numbers. And the key to it is, um, is disability insurance. If you pass away, the life insurance is going to pay your family. But if right. you become disabled and your significant other wife or kids now have to go to work, if your kids are 16, to pay for everything, boy, that's going to be very difficult. They're not going to be able to take care of you. Exactly. And, you know, disability insurance, which is it's really powerful. You get tax, you get the income tax-free. You can get up to 60% of what you're earning from your job. And you can design the plan to however you want it to be. So you want it to go for three years, five years, age 65. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's yeah, I, I would say disability insurance is actually more important than life insurance in a lot of situations because you have a chance of you have a much greater chance of becoming disabled, disabled. Mm-hmm. younger than you do dying younger well that's that's at least one more positive towards that right <laughs> <laughs> we don't all want to think about either oh, but this yeah. is something that's really important we're going to be seeing this a lot especially with um our baby boomer parents that are um that are retiring um long-term care Yes. I'll tell you what, we can probably have a whole show on long-term care, but I only have three or four minutes. <laughs> Educate me a little bit about long-term care because there's so many things out there and so much information out there, and it's a, it's a big industry. We think long-term care insurance is really, really important to have. If you have any assets to protect, you should get long-term care insurance because it protects you in the event you need home health care or nursing home care. A lot of people think the government's going to take care of you if you need that care. Yes, they will take care of you as long as you don't have any assets. And if you have any assets, you have to spend all your own money down before the government will take care of you and pay for it. And they're going to make sure you're in their approved facility, not the facility you'd like to be in. And let me just tell you right now, the approved facilities, their approved facilities, are so much dramatically Mm. different than the one you would probably choose to have. I have uh, an aunt that's in one, and I have an uncle that's in one. And, and the one my uncle's in is not a place I would ever want to be. Um, 
personally if I could choose it. Right. Um, and the workplace and the difference is he you know got disabled very young, and didn't have any resources. Right. And the count uh, the the state is taking care of him. Where my aunt you know and that's what you don't want. Go to tour these facilities and you will buy long term chair uh, care. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. And statistically, one out of two people will need some form of long term care coverage after the age of 65 for an extended period of time. That's well, statistic. You said 50%? One out of well, it's actually, it's one out of two. So one out of two. Okay. Yeah, one out of two. Perfect. Yeah. So that's 50%, right? Yeah. That, <laughs> my, I did my math did right. math on that, really. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Uh, what's your question should they ask? When it comes to long-term care? Yes. Um, you know, really you want to get, there's, there's a lot of different plans out there. So a lot of people just think of long-term care insurance, you're buying a policy and it will cover you in the event of care. And a lot of people say, think, I don't want to pay for that care if I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the one that doesn't need it. There's a lot of great plans out there that if you have coverage now, um, you could buy, for instance, there's a life insurance policy, and you could have a death benefit, let's say it's $500,000, and that lump sum of $500,000, the death benefit, could be used for long-term care insurance. And any time, you could tap up to 2% of that death benefit each month to pay for care. So in the event you don't need care, you got the death benefits. Your family would still get that tax free. And that's uh, and it's kind of a hybrid, isn't it? It is a hybrid. There's a lot of different types of plans like that that are really, really powerful. So the most important thing is to... Make sure you ask the right questions and bring in, I think, other members of the family so that everybody's kind of on the same page yeah. and not confused. Because when it comes to making a decision, it's like, okay, what do we do? And they're not part of that decision of what they purchased. Not only that, and there's not any one plan that's right for everybody. So you want to deal with somebody that has the gamut of all plans to look at to find the one that fits your needs and wants. Uh, real quickly, um, you, I know you specialize in, in helping corporations. Mm -hmm. now, what, typically the range of t different types of corporations you've helped and give us an example you know, or two if you wouldn't mind. Size wise? Size wise and or something you've done for a company that Gosh. really has helped them hire the right person or cover the right strategy. I mean we've helped so many companies when it comes to employee benefits for, employee benefits, for instance. Health insurance, dental vision, all the whole gamut of coverage. But along with that, we work closely with the business owners. So if there's a partner, we help them with buy-sell planning. Um, we work with client, uh, estate planning with those, with those owner, business owners. Uh, I can go on and on all these different things we do, but really our companies we deal with are, that we represent, we help out our companies with two lives up to 500. That's, oh, so that's kind of our sweet, sweet uh, spot. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Um, Scott, those who want to reach out to you, other than seeing you at the gym, five in the morning, with you. Well, yes, yeah, when with you, you haven't gone to the ACDC yeah. concert or the <laughs> Def Leppard concert or whoever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm exactly. joking because you went yeah. to a concert last yeah, night went. at Dodger yeah. Stadium. I hope it's. Yeah. I hope the field's ready for tomorrow. Uh, the, the series when they come up. It was a good concert, I'll yeah. tell you that much. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So they can call me. You want to, uh, they Yeah, can, phone number. And uh, they can call me anytime at 818-377-7270. Or they can email me at scott at corpstrat.com, like corporate strategies. Great. Thanks okay. for coming in. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Zimmerman, Corporate Strategies Incorporated. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. The show is Fred Arnold on AM 1220 KHTS.